them to know that they are not dead, That's right. Amen. Amen. that they still live and we are loving them to life, yes. Amen. that none of them died in vain, right. oh, no. that everyone that God sends to the side comes here for a reason oh, yes. and only for a season and it doesn't matter mm -hmm. how long, whether it's a minute or it's a hundred years. And all of them live long enough to get us here together this morning. Amen. All of them live long enough to get us here this morning. So we're going to say, we love you to our babies, lady. Let's go. We're going to Babyland today to honor those babies who have lost their lives before they could get here. And so in the spirit of mothering, the birthing project wants to honor them. We are going to the Baby Land Cemetery in Memphis, Tennessee to basically honor our babies, remember why we do the work that we do, and um, to let them know we're here and we care. And this is to remind ourselves why we do the work. And we are on our way to Baby Land to see about our babies that God gave us and then he took them home to rest. They are not forgotten. Gone, but not forgotten. We're on a sacred pilgrimage to baby land. The women that are here are on our way right now to see our babies, to pay our respects to them, to spend a little time with them to beautify their little unnamed graves and to remind ourselves of why we do this work. The United States infant mortality rate currently ranks 42nd behind every other developed nation and several developing countries. Shelby County Cemetery is the home of Babyland, the final resting place for over 17,000 babies from poor families and the national symbol of the crisis of infant mortality in the United States of America. So where are the graves? How do I... Do they... Are they really in here? This is really not what I expected. I remember that one. Do you think they're up here? Easier. So we're literally going to have to look for our babies out here. All of this is a graveyard. And um, then we're, we've, we've identified a couple of rows that are going to be our birthing project row. So we're going to, um, to clean them off and, and make them beautiful. And before we leave, we're going to make our circle again and we're going to sing our, our song, How Could Anyone Love You? Not love you. <laughs> Not know who you are. Who are babies. I know it's hard if a family comes looking for their baby, it'll be difficult for them to find them, and that's sad. It's very sad. Uh, we're in baby land, but to me this is angel land, because these are just the shells here. All of these are angels in heaven, and I consider myself so blessed to have been a part of this pilgrimage. The women are from different birthing projects in the country, and some of them are working together as their group. Some of them, especially the ones who may have lost the baby, are working by themselves. There's a little girl here who's taking on the responsibility of cleaning off as many grave sites as she can. And she understands it in a good way that what she's doing is helping to make the little grave site First she's helping to find it, and then she's going to put flowers on them in a minute, and she's really looking forward to that. We have some of our elders here with us, and although they're not able to get down on their hands and knees and do the digging, they came to bless us with prayer and bless us with their presence, and they're also huddling to see what they can do to change the way the babies are he buried here. We don't like the fact that when they do the mass burials twice a week, they drive over the existing grave sites and kind of tear up the ground to get to the new ground. We want to be a part of making this a better place for our babies. This is also November 1st, and November is National Prematurity Month. 
And so we're using this um, occasion as an opportunity to both remind ourselves about prematurity and what we can do to help prevent it, because that's one of the main reasons so many of the babies are here is that they were born too soon. And the other thing is this is the kickoff for our 2009 Dr. Miracles, Little Miracles campaign. I am putting these flowers down here to remember these babies, their lives. And just to give thanks for them coming. We have our little miracle teeth onesie for the baby. And of course we have our birthing project pen. And in this bag we have the um, bow from the Nashville uh, book. And we have our um, New York birthing project. Something for the New York birthing project. The baby shower, shower of the baby shower. Shower of love. Case. Shower of love cake. So picture of it. We have the San Diego pink pen, one of the original pins, and those of us who've been around know that we do the earrings that are made by the Nashville project with the cowrie shells. That you have yours on, okay. So this is what we're going to leave. I really do believe that this is the beginning of turning the curve on the infant mortality problem that we have. Surrounding our babies. Unconditional love. Okay, babies, frolic, be happy, your angels, and keep an eye over the others. Angels, tranquility, the journey. Pray for the families. Peace. Jubilance. Love to live again. How could anyone ever tell you that you're anything less than beautiful? How could anyone ever tell you that you're less than whole? How could anyone fail to notice that you're